best in name there, too. Joel fight now with Xavier Basta and Rob Story. got two really experienced fighters here this is a European title fight and Xavier is uh, from France he's a fantastic fighter comes here with a really really good record you know this guy's been fighting all over the place you know he fights in lots of different countries all over the world and we're privileged to have him here in England and he's fighting Rob Story from Alan Kittle's gym in the Kittle's gym in Kent um, again, you know, Alan produces some great fires. Rob Story, he's been around for a long while now. You know, he's had some great results. And this is his chance now to come and take his title fight as a European title fight, full tie rules. fire he's fought all over the world you know he comes here with a great record and you know you can just see he's very relaxed you know they do it they you know they live in the gym these with those guys but Rob Story you know I mean this is a big opportunity for him you know this is, you know if he can win this fight tonight he's made a big big step in the sport you know 
and can be sure Rob have been training really hard down at the Kittles gym. You know, there's a lot of good sparring down there. You know, we have a lot of ties go down there and train as well. You know, Kittles gym is a fantastic gym. Good repertoire of fighters down there. So, you know, he would have come fully prepared. Definitely, I know that Ross has trained it very hard for this fight. Actually, this is a this is a fairly fast pace for a, for a European title fight in the first round. You know, Xavier is he's definitely coming to fight. You can see he's throwing lots of shots. He's not just sitting and having a look at him. Oh, an unusual to see a back kick there. Oh, it's an, an attempt of a back kick it wasn't a. It wasn't the best of them. Yeah, off target. Oh, there's a nice uh, round kick there from Rob. Yeah, some good round kicks going in there from Rob, nice and strong. Switched us for a second now. Yeah, Xavier is um, changing stance, trying to confuse Rob, but I think Rob's coming with a, you know, he's fully prepared for anything. You know, he wants his title, make no mistake about that. Just in first round. Okay, the second round. We'll see. I think Rob had a good first round. I mean, you know, it was kind of like it was a bit faster than I thought it would be from both fighters. But um, you know, I think Rob may have just edged the first round. But Xavier's come out here with a purpose now, so we'll see how it happens. Xavier has definitely decided to take the pace. Rob. Rob seems to be matching it. Well, Xavier throwing out of France, obviously, you know, sort of like. He's been training really hard out there. He said he's been fighting all over the place. You know, he's had a lot. He's got a very good record. It was a nice low kick attempt there. Tried to spin him back elbow there, yeah, just missed. And again, Rob came in with an elbow as well. It's starting to just heat the fight, it's starting to heat up a little bit now. Rob looks to me a little bit physically stronger. He does, he's definitely putting a bit more pressure on. He's keeping uh, Xavier on his back. Though, and Xavier's on a lot of movement, he's moving around a lot and he's trying to work on the counter.
a clean fight, so. It's clean, yeah, they're throwing some nice techniques at each other. They're both sort of like catching the leg, countering, and countering on the counters, which is good. Obviously two experienced fighters here. You know, you can see that they're both sort of like having a look at each other, moving, the, the little steps come out of the way, the shots blocking. Rob's coming forward and, you know, this will give him a lot of confidence. He's throwing a lot of strong techniques. You know, Xavier's moving around and he's making it difficult for, to get caught or anything clean. And again, a good low kick there from Rob. elbow, nice low kick from Rob. Rob's looking the stronger of the two and he's definitely just starting to sort of edge the fight. Well, another good round there for Rob. I mean, you know, Xavier's got some work to do. coming into the third round now. Xavier seems to be slow coming out of his corner. Again, you know, Xavier's on the back foot and Rob's coming forward. Rob's definitely taking it to Rob you know, looks very strong, he looks like he's worked really hard in the gym. You know, Alan will always make sure that his fighters are prepared, so you know, he's probably putting a lot of work to, you know, he knows it's a European title, this is a great opportunity for him to make his stamp in this sport. So he would have trained extremely hard. He's fighting well off the back foot, but every time he's getting caught, cool, he's getting caught cool with a heavy shot. And that's the difference. I'm noticing Rob when he's taking the punches from NBA, it don't really seem to be having much effect on him. Well, no, obviously that will be concerning for every in his corner because, you know, he's moving around, he's throwing techniques out, but they don't seem to be taking effect, like you say. But when Rob's coming in and he's throwing them shots, they look a lot heavier and they look as if they're taking effect. Quite demoralising for a fighter if you're hitting him enough, is that? Nice round kick coming, a left round kick to the, it's going round to the arm, oh, maybe he needs to lift it up towards the head. Have he's starting to look a bit tired. Yes. Took a low kick there. <laughs> He's got his leg again. He's made him pay. Good shots again. Bob's looking very confident. He's coming forward. He's trying strong techniques. I mean, he's still composed, but he's, he's definitely on his back foot. And he doesn't seem. That was a lovely elbow there. He caught him with a good elbow. Bob needs to keep his hands up there on the inside. elbow in the last round there but um, didn't seem to do much didn't take much effect
Chase coming out for the fourth round. Interesting so far. I've got to roll about three rounds. Yeah, I, I would agree with that as well. Rob seems to be putting in more of the work, scoring more of the points. Yeah, well, he's definitely stamping his authority on the fight. He seems to be the stronger of the two. Although Xavier's not out of it, he finds some good techniques moving around, and he's always dangerous. With his experience, he's always going to be dangerous. He takes one shot, but... No, well, with this Love performance by Robbie Harrington. Well, it was interesting. Javier didn't do no work whatsoever in the clinch there, which really surprised me. He's just trying to get a breather there. Get some wind back in his in his lungs. Recover a bit. Another good low kick here from Robert, and another good low kick. He's starting to take effect. So maybe he's firing well off the back foot, but he's getting caught, and he's getting caught with heavier shots. Seems like one-way traffic at the moment. Really. Well, Bob's getting more and more belief. He's coming forward. He's firing shots. Powerful round kick to the body there. Oh, lovely. Yeah, Rob's, you know, edging the fight further and further away from every I mean, Javier's going to need a knockout and it just doesn't look as if it's going to come with the way he's fighting at the moment. He doesn't look like he's got the power to knock him out. Yeah, Rob just doesn't want to get careless. He wants to keep his hands out, keep his work rate. And, you know, he's pressing forward there. He could even get a stoppage if he keeps continuing like this in the next round as well. Well, I'm sure Alan Kittle's going to be delighted with the performance so far. It's clear to see that Rob really wants his title. He's such a nice fellow as well when you see him working down the gym. Well, he's got to be pleased with the way he's fighting. He gets a very experienced fighter here coming over from France. Oh, lovely right hand there. For me, I think he won that round and he won it well. Uh, definitely on his way to winning this soul if he doesn't get careless. coming out for the final round now. Well, Rob just needs to continue what he's doing and I think the tile is going to be his. You know, Javier's got it all to do. Xavier's got all of it to do. He needs to really come out and start working if he wants to. You know, have a I think Javier needs a knockout, basically. Yeah, definitely. I agree with you. He... Oh, he's trying. Shots from Rob there again. Again, 
Rob dominating on the inside there with the knee techniques. Over there just holding on. And, you know, it's surprising me because, you know, he has to win the fight. He has to have a knockout. Although that was a good elbow, he spun out with the elbow there. And again, he's attempted it. But again, on the inside there, Rob scoring again. And scoring well. Look, again, every technique going in. And again, he's just taking a breather there, but you know, to no effect, really, because he's losing the fight. No, he's standing there, all them needs are scoring. Oh, exactly. If he wants to win the fight, you know, he has to work. And, you know, unless he's so confident he's got something left in him, something big to take Rob out, but I can't see him. Rob's trying to fight him really well. He's got to keep his hands up, though. And Rob needs to dig deep now for the last half of the fight. Oh, and a nice technique again there from Rob. See, Rob really wants his toe. He's fine. He's going for it. Oh, it's a great performance from Rob. Fantastic. Oh, superb. He's pouring it on now. Over there, he's fighting back. But Rob is just, you know, overwhelming him with his shots. a fantastic performance again I think Rob won the fight unanimously you know it was credit to Avier there he stood in he took a lot of shots but just not enough it's Rob's occasion today I think Rob will be walking away with a European title yeah, I'd have to agree with you Tim I think, uh, I think Rob story is going to walk away with that one definitely going to walk away with this, you know, again a performance from Avia, but I don't think he's uh, won the fight. And I think the key when Kittle, um, Alan Kittle's gym is looking very, very confident. performance by Rob there. You know, worthy winner and um, let's see if he can go on to bigger and better things. I'm sure they'll be delighted with that win. Well, 